This is how you can create a spinning preload. What is this? What is this? Create a new document in Photoshop and set the dimensions of your preloader. I'll set them to 150 by 150 pixels, RGB color mode, and set the background contents to white. Not transparent. We're going to make it transparent later on. Click Create. Click and hold on the Shape Tools and activate the Ellipse tool. Click once on the canvas. I'll set it to 150 by 150 and click OK. Now up here in the Options bar, set the Fill Color to None. Set the Stroke Color and Width as you want. And then open this drop down menu, find the align menu, and set the stroke alignment to the inside. With the move tool, go ahead and align the circle to the center of the canvas. Great, now we don't need the full circle, so let's create a mask to hide half of it. With the shape layer still activated, select the rectangular marquee tool, create a rectangular selection around the top half of the circle, and then at the bottom of the layers panel, click here to create a layer mask. Now click here to hide the background, hold down the shift key and click on the background layer so that both layers are selected. Right click on one of the layer's names and choose convert to smart object. And now it's time to animate. Go to window, timeline to open the timeline panel. Click here and choose create video timeline and then click create video timeline. And if you click on the panel's menu and then choose set timeline frame rate, you can set a specific frame rate here. I'm gonna leave it at 30 frames per second for this example. And let's open the layer's properties by clicking on this arrow. And with the playhead set at the beginning of the timeline, click on this top watch next to the transform property to create a keyframe. Drag the playhead to the frame number 20, press Ctrl or Command T to free transform, and in the options bar, set the rotation angle to 180 degrees, and then press Enter to confirm. Next, move the playhead 20 more frames, and do the same thing. Control or Command T, 180 degrees, enter to confirm. Next, move the playhead back just one frame, open the panel's menu, go to Move and Trim, and choose Trim End at Playhead. To preview the animation, open the playback options by clicking on the gear icon and make sure Loop Playback is checked. Click Play, and here it is. To export the animation as a GIF, go to File, Export, Save for Web. Set the file format to GIF, and you can use these transparency settings. And under Animation, set the looping options to Forever. And then click Save. And here's the final GIF. Don't wait for the animation to stop though, because it's gonna spin forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and 